What's up guys, my name is Your Heroes and welcome back to more Cult Arms Gates of Hell and it's so good to be back into kind of normal reality and to record videos again. I've missed that a lot but I'm so glad I've took a break and if you guys don't know what happened then make sure you go check out the video I did on Monday which is basically explaining why I was off for so long and all that so make sure you go check that out. But today we're going to be covering that I get a question asked a lot and that is about why your game keeps crashing all the time and a lot of you do actually come in uh, on the videos just it's not even related to do with that particular video but it's even just saying oh my game keeps crashing how do I solve this or it keeps coming up with an error what do I do and it just and it comes up all the time on my comments so today I'm going to be answering that question for you now I know there's a lot of people who have already kind of covered this type of uh, thing before but I'm going to be basically breaking it down and giving a few options what it could be and why your game keeps crashing so if you guys do like what you see then make sure you do subscribe stay tuned to the channel for more videos like this and without further ado I hope you do enjoy. So one of the main reasons that it could possibly be that your game is crashing is that remember I am no you know I'm not a dev of this game so I or a developer so I don't know you know the exact reasons but I can give you a few options what you can do to, to possibly get your game restarting again. So one of the reasons that I can mention is that if you go into the main screen right here which is the gates of hell if you click on extras and then you can see you have got all your mods here now i believe when this game first released you the only way you could get mods were were actually downloading them off the base game of call to arms and then moving my, moving them onto the gates of hell folders or the file and then do it that way but because now that the game has now gone into such great depth and development now that it actually has its own steam workshop so make sure you guys check that out so you don't need to do that whole process of going into the original uh, call to arms workshop and then doing the file transfer which was really dumb but now that they've now got their own workshop you're able to download mods now some mods may i add is that not all mods will be able to work together so if you have mods that let's say you have all these mods activated let's say you have three mods or four mods activated at once that's probably one or two that may be one reason why your game might crash what to do is deactivate if you've got a mod activated press um let's say i press activate or apply and then uh, and then you've got the mod apply what to do is just press deactivate and that means and make sure you click yes because that means it'll uh, it'll deactivate the mod and that means you you'll have uh, you'll have it unsubscribe or you won't have it unsubscribed you'll have it deactivated so that mod won't be playable and that means hopefully you should be able to play with some mods now like i said one thing i would definitely definitely do is that once you have um un you know once you have deactivated the mod what i would do is even unsubscribe to it because one mod might just be causing the whole game to crash it might not be every mod but it might just be that one mod that might crash the whole game so make sure you what to do is just press unsubscribe and press yes and then what to do is go to there and then go into the steam workshop uh, which you can find down here and then visit view my subscription so this will tell you all the mods that have that you have enabled in here and just what to do is when you go in here just make sure that the mod that you unsubscribe to is actually unsubscribed to so that is one way that that might that will that will hopefully fix your game and if that doesn't do it then what i would do it is then another thing which is quite a lot of people do it anyway but it might not work 100% of the time is just uninstall and reinstall the game sometimes that can just what that does is that basically that just resets all the the files i think on the game or just kind of resets it a wee bit so make sure you if you do that try possibly do that first bit um or do that second actually but definitely unsubscribe to all mods that you have currently in the game now what i would also do with the mods is that when you are subscribing to the mods make sure you check the description of the mod because that what it'll mean is that Let's say you want to download this unit overhaul basic edition. Um, 
it will say make sure you read the description because it's very important you read the description because it might say that the the creator might say that this mod is not be able is not able to use with other mods in that case you'll only be able to play it with that mod and that means it just means that your game will just crash and it won't work and also make sure that some mods do actually come with um other mods that you need to apply so what to do if you find a mod that has other mods that you need to you know apply to it make sure you go it will be roughly where this area is here where the create were created by this person uh, you'll see there that another that another mod might be needed for the mod that you want to play so make sure you download that first and then download this mod and then play those two mods together or three or four or how many mods you need within within that mod but make sure it's not different mods because it's just it'll just break the game and crash your game just make sure it's all by the same creator and make sure it's by the same it's kind of within the same mod if that makes sense so that is definitely another thing that i would check because that is a good reason why it could crash your game make sure that you do not try not mix mods because that could be a major reason why it could crash now one other thing i would actually check is that if you go on to I would definitely check your files. Now your files are really important. Like I said before, the, when this game first released, you had to actually go into the Call to Arms um, workshop, you know, the actual original Call to Arms workshop, and then you had to download, and then you had to download it there, and then transfer the files on, or the mod onto the files of the Gates of Hell. But make sure that if you still feel like it's crashing, then check your files. What to do is go on to your to your desktop or not your desktop go onto your um where is it i can't even find it now go to this pc which should just be right there and then click on windows c which everybody should have or if you've got it in another folder like i have because i have mine in my ssd or my external hard drive um, and i have it in the steam library and then steam apps and then common and then i have it here so basically if you don't have that and it's just in your c drive what to do is go back to pc click on c drive go onto program files 86 which is make sure you click that so i'll, I'll do this slowly and then once you're on that scroll down and then what you want to go is go onto steam until you find steam click on steam and then click on Steam Apps, which will just, just be roughly done about here, just underneath Steam. Now, all of this is alphabetical, so it should be quite easy to see. So once you click on Steam Apps, click on that, and then press Common. And then that will take you to all your Steam games that you have currently downloaded in your game. Now, of course, that because this is the game is actually now officially out and um, mine is not in here it was in my external hard drive so i've only got kind of the beta version which was now way past it but basically once you go what to do is just go into the call to arms here and then it press mods and it may be here it usually it should be there but this is the mods these are the original mods that i had when the game first released so it would i don't know if, it, if the mods will be there if not then what to do is just do it from the workshop just like i said do it by bit just unsubscribe in the game and that means it will be deleted and make sure you check your subscription as well because that means it will that means you can double check that if it is fully deleted so it, if it's not there in the files then it'll you'll have to do it from in the game as i explained at the start of the video or roughly towards the start so those are kind of the three steps that i would do to or a couple steps that i would do to make sure that you have to make sure your game doesn't crash is so the first one is to make sure that you unsubscribe go into the game and then go into extras and then make sure you unsubscribe to all of them and that means you have it's kind of out, it is it's out your game and then what to do is once it's unsubscribe go in back into the steam go into your gates of hell and then go into my 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 subscriptions which will just be which will just be beside the visit my workshop click that and then it will show you all your mods that you currently have enabled and make sure it is unsubscribed there and that means it will make sure that means it will definitely be unsubscribed and then what to do 
is delete any other mods that you have. What to do is just delete all the mods that you have because sometimes it can just be a fact of even though it might be one and it might be all of them. So what I would do is just delete all your mods. So that means you kind of have a clean, your game will kind of just be back to normal again, hopefully. And that means you won't be crashing. But if it still crashes, then I would definitely um, do the other things that I said. Go into your files, make sure that there's nothing else in your mod folder that is possibly corrupting it. And if you're still stuck, then I would possibly even just look up on the internet or contact a developer but these are my uh that is step number one which i said step number two which i said go into your files go into your mods folder and your gates of hell make sure there's no other things and step three is to possible if you can't do any of that then do, then uninstall the game then reinstall it even though it may take some time but hopefully that should reset the kind of the files and all that again and if it doesn't, then the fourth step I would do is just contact a developer slash go into maybe the the Reddit page on Gates of Hell because there's a lot of helpful people on there as well. So guys, that is my tip. That is my tips that I would take to avoid crashing the game. And if you guys did find it helpful, then make sure you leave a like on this video. And if it does come up with kind of like with an error screen, then take a picture of it and then even... Um, put it on the reddit because i'm sure there's a lot of people there to help you as well but on that guys that is it those are my tips and tricks to help you avoid um getting your game crashed in gates of hell and that uh by the way that should go for men of Russell squad 2 and the original call to arms as well so that's it guys i hope you did enjoy this video thank you so much for watching it again it's just great to be back it feels really good to record again so definitely more exciting content coming up to the channel and guys we're only 40 subs away from reaching that amazing thousand subscriber goal and i have a lot of plans to do once we reach that thousand subscribers so guys please 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 do subscribe to this channel it'll be absolutely amazing to reach that goal by the end of the year and i'm definitely sure we will but than that guys thank you so much for watching and our support and i will see you in the next video see you later and goodbye